All right, a little bit of a bike shop going on in the garage at the moment. Um, normally it's a wood shop, obviously. Um, but I've got the, uh, the Alley Sprint here, and I'm going to be changing the cranks. I will discuss that in a second. But I also have the old, the old Steed, which is a, um, a Cat 8, actually. And I love this bike, um, but I did upgrade it a little while ago. Um, to the specialized so this is going to be um, the new sort of backup uh, white spike that kind of thing um, but I took the saddle off of um, off of this one and stuck it on the alley sprint because I like that saddle and um, that's the um, Italia SLR um, so uh, yeah so I gotta take the saddle off of that, which, which used to be my wife's spike, um, the old Cannondale saddle off of that, stick it back on the original. Um, and then I also have my daughter's bike. Um, and she says, oh, my saddle's not right. <laughs> it's very uh, uncomfortable and everything. So um, I'm going to uh, replace that with, um, I don't know, I, I have an IRO, an Eero saddle from an old bike. Um, I have the one that actually originally came on the um, Alley Sprint. So uh, that might go, don't know actually, that might go on the, uh, I don't know. Oh, the uh, commuter bike, that's it. Um, so this is my, this is the bike I take to work. Um, and I have like an old ripped up saddle on that one. So I might uh, might replace that one. Um, that's a Kona, it's a major one. So this is like a single speed I just take to work. Um, so I might put the, uh, the specialized saddle on that. Okay, and with all of the saddles switched on all of the bikes, um, we are switching over to the real reason why the new one is on the bike stand. And that is switching out crank sets and I am super excited about this actually so um, I originally got the bike um, and I knew there were a few things that I wanted to do to it before um, it was you know exactly how I wanted but um, it, like typically I would have gotten a frame set and I would have built it on myself but um, in this case uh, the Alley Sprint frame set was like impossible to get and uh, this um, this particular build was pretty much what I was looking for. You know, it had um, uh, nice wheels on it. It had the carbon, uh, carbon handlebars and stem and everything. So it was like nearly complete. Um, one of the things that I did want to switch out though was the uh, cranks. So it had a pair of uh, 170s, and I prefer 165s. Um, it also had the power meter built into the crank arm, uh, which is cool, but I already have a set of nice um, power meter pedals, um, and I like that because it gives the left-right balance, and you know, I'm just used to them. So um, I knew that I was going to have to switch this out at some point, um, and that, that time is now. So um, I went ahead and got a new set of um, SRAM RED um, one by setup. So this is a 48 tooth. Um, this is a 50 tooth. I'm switching to 48. I think it'll be fine. Um, and I like the one by setup. A lot of people don't, but um, I think it's uh, perfectly fine for the type of riding that I do. Um, in this case, I am saving quite a lot of weight actually because the power meter on this one. Um, so it's like 200, a little over 200 grams between. Um, so I'm saving a little over 200 grams. I get the shorter cranks, which I like, um, and then, yeah, just a nice uh, nice crank arm here. So um, that is the real reason why I'm switching. So old busted, new hotness, and that will go on the bike, uh, yeah, today, hopefully.
And there we go. New hotness on the bike. Just came back from a um, little practice crit race ride with uh, Bill and Doug, which was fun. Um, and the test ride, yeah, went well. Thing felt, yeah, felt great. I think I have to uh, shorten the chain probably a little bit. So the old chain ring was 50, and um, this one's 48, so I think I probably have to shorten that. Um, but I might end up getting a flat top chain anyway, which was the one that was recommended with the this like X sync um, chain ring. So I'll probably yeah probably uh, wait for that.